So have you ever wondered why when YouTubers go back to wherever they're from, they kind of just stop posting or they don't create or you just don't hear from them? Well, I've been trying to create this video since I got back probably. See the water droplet? Okay, this one's gonna go straight to the floor. But do we care? I don't know, it's just water, like... Water dries up. I, I think it'll be fun. I don't know how you feel, but... <laughs> All right, let's capture it, I guess. It's better than just dropping. This one did not drop any. Okay, hold on. All right, let's do a little bit more here. Anybody? Okay, that one must have been really thirsty. Yeah, so if you can't tell, I'm back in Mexico. Here's my Mexican beautiful home. Some of the plants made it. Some didn't like it too much that I was gone. But anyhow, can I just say... Good morning, sunshine. I haven't had time to get loose leaf tea, so this is what we're working with. So I'm gonna make a chai. Listen, I'm gonna tell you the first reason. I personally have been super sad. <laughs> And I feel like mental health is the number one. I don't think I have ever spoken about mental health in this channel. And that's because living in Mexico, I am so happy. I don't think there's ever been a period of long sadness. I mean, everybody feels sad once in a while, but living in Mexico, I have never had a period of long sadness. But in my opinion, you know, there's a lot of reasons people travel. And I think some people travel to run away. And I can't say that was my situation per se, not on purpose anyways. I traveled to give my kids an education. Trapped you there. My bad. I apologize. Anyways, where was I? I, I, I traveled to give my kids an education. But inadvertently, when I started traveling, there were relationships that were kind of left hand hanging and things that maybe were a little bit unresolved. And I have a few narcissists in my life. And even though I work really hard to create solid relationships and be open and express myself and always understand how I feel, there are those that I just don't have a fluid relationship with. And these people happen to be some that are part of my life and will always be. And when going back to my hometown, I come face with them and our relationship and it is what it is. So yeah, I've been sad and I can't, I'm not good at creating when I'm sad because I love sunshine, I love happiness, I love spreading both. Let's get some milk while we wait. This is the best non-milk milk that I have found in Mexico. I had a really hard time finding one I liked, but I love this one. So one of the reasons, I I'm gonna say that this goes with reason number one, that people don't pose. They go back and they have relationships to deal with. There's a lot of reconnecting that you do when you go back after long-term travel and it takes time and patience and focus. So for me, it was more important this time around to focus on these relationships and not over, <laughs> like overdo it for myself. Not Like I had to take something out of my schedule to be able to keep existing. <laughs> And what I decided to take out of my uh, schedule was the videos because everything else that I had to do seemed mandatory. 
not to mention it's really hard to be creative when there's people around you. It just, it kind of drowns out your thoughts a little bit when somebody's constantly talking to you or you're always overly stimulated. So I personally find that I need peace to be able to create or be able to create from the heart. The water's taking forever. Probably because I filled it too much because the water man was coming. So I needed to get rid of the last little bit of the from the garrafon. You know what a garrafon is? Garrafon. <laughs> I had to empty the last little bit of the garrafon, so I put it in my electric kettle, and now the water's taking forever. Okay, but good enough. I think I'm gonna do sugar today. Sometimes it's like a little treat to, you know, put sugar in my tea instead of a substitute. I've been really good with my health. You know what, that brings me to probably health. Like every time I go back home, I do health related things, which take a lot of time, like going to the doctor and specialists and whatever. Of course, I have an autoimmune disease, chronic illness, ongoing forever. So this might not be the same for everybody, but if you have some sort of health issue, going back home and taking care of it is probably the best because who wants to do that while they're traveling in a strange place with, you know, different culture and different language that you're used to. Thank you, Lance, for my tea. Your message was super sweet and congrats. I also wait to go back home to do anything government related, like taxes or anything like that. I'm gonna spill it. Walk slower, Karen. Which is almost like a different part of the brain, right? <laughs> like, so I can't focus on technical things and focus on YouTube. I have to be in a completely creative space to be able to express myself properly and create another reason. I don't know if you notice, I'm out of breath. So like I said before, I'm taking care of my health. I am doing really good, but I've been here for a month and it's been a struggle because every time I go back to the US, I feel sick again. So even though, like I said, I go to the doctor and things like that when I'm in the US, I also feel a lot worse, <laughs> a lot of worse. Like, um, let's say here in Mexico, I always feel out of five and Miami, I always feel like at a nine. So I'm, I'm, I'm not okay. <laughs> and creating while you're sick is just not a, a good idea at any point because it just makes you worse faster. And unless you really have the energy to put into this kind of thing, especially something that doesn't pay, it, it, it's like an uphill battle. You know what I mean? So another issue I find myself having is just adjusting to daily life in Miami or in the United States in general. Things are always go, go, go over there. And I don't really have control over my peace. If you follow me, you know I'm all about slow living. And when I get to the US, that almost seems impossible. Don't get me wrong, I try. Try to create boundaries and things like that. But because I'm gone most of the time, when I'm there, there, it's like there's almost a to-do list when I get back of things I have to do while I'm there and there's never enough time. So life becomes um, slightly unbearable, I would say, and my time just goes away. Mm, so good. Of course, this interacts with my introspection and creativity because not having time creates an atmosphere in which, you know, I just don't sit with myself to take care of myself emotionally as much as, as I do physically. And I feel like my creativity is completely connected to my mental health. And as I mentioned in the beginning, being too busy plus the relationships plus the health issues, all that completely affect my mental health. Yeah, I'm sitting on the floor now because I want to show you this. This fell like a week ago. And it's just living there. Thriving. Can you see it? <laughs> it's thriving. I don't get it. Good for it. Anyhow, the last reason for me is the fact that I have a business. 
And every time I go to the US, I get to meet the people I work with. And those are relationships I like to nurture as much as I do my family and my friends. Now, having said that, <laughs> I will be going back to the US very soon because we decided to move back and use the United States as our home base again. And that will be in a couple of months. Now, will I still be making videos from there? Yes, but I have a few to make from here and I have a few to edit from when we were in Miami this past trip because my daughter had a quince and I have not shown you that yet. So I really want to show you that. And we're still gonna travel when we're back in the US, but I will have to focus more on business too. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm super nervous, but I think we're entering a new phase with my kids being 15 and 17, and there'll be a lot that they have to do in the US. Hopefully, this video does not hold true when I go back and I do get to make videos. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.